Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and I've done a lot of setup videos for Ledger cryptocurrency hardware wallets. I've also done several restore videos to show you how to restore your device if your original gets lost, damaged, or stolen. You simply buy a new device and restore using your 24 word backup phrase. However, I have encountered several personal tech support issues with people that have been unable to restore their new device with their backup phrase because they wrote it down incorrectly or illegibly or they wrote it in the wrong order or whatever they did for some reason when they went to do their restore it kept telling them the seed phrase was invalid. And this is a heartbreaking thing to happen to you. And I want to help you avoid this. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a due diligence video. In other words, after we've got our device set up, let's double check to make sure that our seed phrase is written down correctly so that we can feel confident storing our crypto in our wallet, knowing that if anything happens to the device, you'll have a valid seed phrase that you can do the you can do to restore. Now there are two ways of doing this. The first would be to run the ledger recovery check immediately after setting up the wallet while it's still empty. This is a handy little app that you can download for your device, which will ask you to input the words and then will verify that they are indeed the words that were used to set up the device or the words that match the private key on the device. Another way to do this is after you've got your device set up, deposit a small test amount of cryptocurrency wipe the device back to factory, and then run the restore. If after you've run the restore, you can verify that small balance, then you know that your seed phrase was written down correctly and you can successfully restore the device anytime you need to. So I'm gonna walk you through both of these techniques. They're pretty straightforward, and that way you can feel safe and secure knowing that your seed phrase is correct and you feel confident that you can successfully restore a new device if you have to get a replacement. So let's jump in. All right, so this is the welcome screen of the Ledger Flex. As I mentioned, it's the same on the Ledger Stacks. So in order to initiate the process, we just start tapping. We can read these instructions. All right, um, and you can do this completely offline if you want to. I'll set up without Ledger Live. Ledger Live basically just walks you through the process. It doesn't really matter whether it's connected or not. I'm going to skip the Ledger Live setup and just uh, initialize the device and write the backup phrase down. We'll connect to Ledger Live when we're done. So I'll hit set name here and we'll confirm that. All right, we'll set our pin. You, you have to use at least four, but you can use up to eight. I recommend using an eight digit pin. All right, and we're setting it up as brand new, right? This is a brand new device and we're going through our due diligence here. So uh, we'll set it up as new and it's going to give us 24 words that we need to write down in order. All right, and now that I've initialized the device, written down the seed phrase and confirmed it, let's go ahead and connect to Ledger Live. All right, so the first time we launch Ledger Live, this is what it looks like. Uh, we choose our device, and now we'll connect the device to the computer. Uh, I have a USB cable. We'll go ahead and enter our pin, and I'm going to go ahead and skip this stuff. All right, I can uh, skip this, and we'll just do this later. All right, so our first order of business is to run the recovery check to verify that that seed phrase we wrote down is, in fact, written down correctly. All right, so we'll go to the My Ledger section here. We'll allow the secure connection on our device. And here in the app catalog, we'll search for recovery check, REC. We'll hit install. It's going to install that onto our device. Okay, you can see it's installing. All right, and once we've done that, we can quit Ledger Live actually at this point. So all we need is our device and the seed phrase that we wrote down. So we'll launch recovery check and we'll choose start check. 
and tell it how many words are in our list. And then it just asks us to start typing in the words. So we'll start off with word number one. And notice that as you start typing, it will give you a smaller set of letters. Below your text entry, you've got the suggested word, right? So as you start to type, you'll get a list of suggested words. So I see my word, I'll tap it, and then just go on to the next. Uh, notice there that now I've got two choices and I see my word there. So I can just tap it and just continue on just choosing your word each time. You can even scroll through the list of uh, suggested words back and forth if you want. Right, I see my word there. Okay, and then we get to that last word and we hit uh, choose it. And there it is, uh, correct secret recovery phrase. So now we know for sure that uh, the, the seed phrase that we wrote down matches the private key that was generated on the device, right? We can rest assured that we've written this down correctly because we've gone through the restore process at least once now. All right, and then we can back out and hit quit app. All right, and now we can uh, start adding crypto to our device. But there is another way that's uh, slightly more involved, but you can do this without running the recovery check. You can do this on any crypto hardware wallet, even if it's not a ledger, any crypto wallet. If you just put a small test amount in the device, just, just set up a wallet, put a small test amount in the wallet, wipe the device, do the restore, and then verify the balance. And that's the foolproof way of double checking your device. So let me walk you through that part. All right, so we already had Ledger Live installed, right? And we'll just set up a test wallet. Uh, we'll hit add account. We can choose any crypto we want. I'll go ahead and do Bitcoin. It's the most straightforward. Everybody's heard of Bitcoin, right? Now, uh, since the device has no apps on it except recovery check, Ledger Live will detect that I want to install the Bitcoin app, so it will install it for me automatically. All right, and then it's going to ask me to open the Bitcoin app. All right, and it's going to offer me uh, an empty account, right? This is an empty device. I'm going to name the Bitcoin account Bitcoin Flex. I'll hit Add Account. And so now I have an empty Bitcoin wallet. So I'll just go get a little uh, crypto on an exchange and throw it in this wallet. All right, so I'll go into my Bitcoin wallet here. I'll, to, I'll do receive. Hit continue. Make sure you, make sure you have your device uh, attached and unlocked. And I'm already in the Bitcoin app. And then it wants me to verify this address here, which is uh, always a good idea. Uh, you can see that the address on my device matches the one I see on my computer screen. Uh, before I hit confirm, I'm going to copy that address into my clipboard. And then I'll tap to confirm on the device. I have the address in my clipboard, so I'm going to just run over to my Coinbase account. I'm going to uh, transfer some crypto. I'll paste in the address. And then I'll send a little Bitcoin. And uh, I'm just going to send a really small amount of Bitcoin on the regular Bitcoin network. I can switch between dollar and Bitcoin here. I'm just going to send $20 worth of Bitcoin. It's only going to cost me 48 cents to do this, but it's well worth the time and effort. All right. I have a security key uh, for my Coinbase account. I actually use my Ledger Stacks as my security key. This is a different device, right? But I can confirm this. Withdrawal from my device. Another great use for a Ledger Flex or Stacks. Okay, you can see the Bitcoin has hit my wallet. It's not quite confirmed yet. Uh, it does need some time to confirm on the blockchain. But uh, once I see it hit the wallet, I know it's safe and sound in the wallet. It's just not spendable yet. And that's great. 
So now that I have done this, I'm going to do a reset of this device and then we'll do the restore and then we'll double check that we have access to this account, All right? We don't need to erase the account from Ledger Live. All we want to do is just wipe the device and do a proper restore. And then after that, we can uh, verify this balance. All right. Pretty simple. So in order to do the reset, we'll just uh, wake up the device. And when it asks for the pin, we'll just enter an incorrect pin. All right. And then we'll tap again, enter another incorrect pin. And then our final attempt will wipe the device. We'll just enter an incorrect pin again. And now we've reset the device to factory. This wipes everything off the device completely. We'll go ahead and restart. And then we're back at that same home screen where we started today. But in this case, instead of setting up the device as brand new, which is a mistake I see a lot of people do when they're trying to uh, restore a device after an inadvertent reset. In this case, we're going to do the restore. And once again, we don't need to connect to Ledger Live to do this. Uh, I'll skip the Ledger Live. I'll set the name, and it doesn't matter what name you had before. You can choose a different name if you want to. The, the private key you're going to restore is not dependent on the name. So we could choose a different name if we want to, right? And we can choose a different pin if we want to. The pin doesn't matter either. We can choose the same pin we used before, or we can choose a different pin. It doesn't really matter. The most important thing we're going to do here is use the recovery phrase, right? So we'll hit restore. Uh, we'll restore from our secret recovery phrase. We'll tell it how many words there are. And it's just very similar to the recovery check. We'll just get out our seed phrase again and we'll do a proper restore, right? Referring to our phrase. All right, so just start from word one. All right, once we put in that last word, uh, it's gonna tell us it's, if it's confirmed, right? This means that I had a valid seed phrase and I successfully restored. If it's unconfirmed, if, there's, if it tells you it's an invalid seed phrase, uh, worst case scenario, you've only lost 20 bucks worth of crypto. Uh, you can go back through your phrase maybe and check your words, double check to make sure they were written legibly, maybe you misread a word, whatever the problem is, you know, and then fix it and try again and see if you can get the restore done. Better you do it now than down 10 years down the road when you don't, you're trying to restore a wallet with, you know, life-changing wealth, right? Do it now. <laughs> so we can tap to continue. Just go through this initial uh, setup. And uh, there we go. And now it's saying we can reconnect to Ledger Live. So let's go do that. All right. So we'll go ahead and connect our device again and enter our PIN. Enter Ledger Live, uh, go into our accounts, go into our wallet. It's still, it still hasn't confirmed on my end, but that's not a big deal. We're going to click uh, Receive. This is the hardware check. We'll hit Continue. And it's going to install the Bitcoin app, right? Because when you do the restore, the only thing it puts back is the master private key. The apps need to be reinstalled, but no big deal. Uh, we'll just go ahead and allow that. It's going to install the Bitcoin app for us. You can see it's installing there. All right. And then it's going to ask us to open the Bitcoin app. And then it wants us to verify this address, right? We just swipe. And there it is. Uh, when you see that these addresses match, you know that you've restored the device successfully, right? We'll go ahead and confirm. And there we go. And we can even do one better by actually moving this Bitcoin out. That's a final, no questions asked, ironclad verification that we've got our seed phrase restored properly and we have full access to the crypto. So I'll just run over to Coinbase. I'll do a deposit. I'll say I want to receive crypto. I'll choose Bitcoin. I'll get the address of the, my Bitcoin wallet on Coinbase. We'll go back to Ledger Live. We'll do a send. We'll paste in that address. We'll hit continue. 
and I can go ahead and send the max and then we'll hit continue once again. All right, we'll double check the address we're sending to. We'll swipe over and then we'll hold to sign. And transaction has been signed. All right, and then we can see over here that the transaction has gone out. Uh, we can see that I sent this Bitcoin. And then uh, we'll just go over to Coinbase and verify that we received it. There was already some Bitcoin in here. and It's going to take a few minutes for that Bitcoin I sent to hit the account. But once we've confirmed that, then we know for sure we have full access to this wallet. We can send and receive crypto using our restored device. There is no question in our mind that that seed phrase is written down correctly and can be used to do a restore. So that's it. That's due diligence on setting up a Ledger hardware wallet uh, to verify that your seed phrase is in fact written down correctly and that you can successfully perform a restore. I know it takes a little extra time and effort, but it is well worth it. As I mentioned, I've encountered many heartbreaking stories where an end user was unable to recover access to their crypto because they had written their seed phrase down incorrectly and they didn't discover it until they actually needed to do the restore on a new device. So avoid the heartbreak, do your due diligence, make sure that seed phrase is written down correctly and then you can perform a recovery if you need to. You'll thank me later. If you have any questions about anything I said, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered.